is getting a manicure at three empowering? So, I believe um, that children make sense of the world through role play and through playing different characters and through fairy tales and, and when they come to our salon, they're very much treated as a princess. It's very much an experience. So it's not necessarily about beauty and about their outward beauty, but it's more about the experience that they feel when they, that they're with us. Marina, what's wrong with it? I feel we need to be really careful about the messaging. Listen, on the one hand, mm -hmm. you know, a girl sitting there having her nails painted or some cream put on her face isn't the end of the world. But what are we telling them? They are so influenced at this stage. They're learning from us the whole time about what really matters in life. And I think if we put too much emphasis on how you look, we're essentially telling them it matters how you look. People will like you more if you look a certain way. And you need to be worried about Haven't this. little girls and potentially little boys always enjoy playing dress up? Mm -hmm. Always wanted to be a princess. Isn't right, this yeah. just the modern version of that? Absolutely. I disagree. I think that there's one thing that emulation is has always been done and it's a natural occurrence, but it very quickly, if it's encouraged, can turn into I need to be changed, I need to look a certain way for people to like me better. And I think isn't that it, is potentially. But isn't really it also quite, quite a, just a nice, like a almost a bonding thing to do rather than another nerf gun fight, another uh, video game? Uh, you know, another uh, game of Minecraft. Why, why not actually go with your kid and it's, have a... Well, we actually have that. We have parents coming along with their children and we have mummy and me bonding sessions, daddy and me bonding sessions. We have best friends bonding, sisters bonding. We've had three sisters come in and bond. Yeah. and have think there's better ways to bond. Shouldn't what's, what's three, there? four, five-year-old kids' uh, nails be covered in dirt? and bark from climbing trees. They Isn't that both. what parents they think, rather both. than shiny polish? Yesterday, we had a girl that was her birthday, the day before she went to the park, and the day after, she came and had a pamper session and she had her nails done. It, it's, it's not one suits all, it, you can do both. Can I just, so True Pal, the, the so you set up this business, you have, mm -hmm. you have four children sister, yeah. yourself, you're a hard-working guy, mm -hmm. trying to get by in the world, trying to get this thing flying. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's one of the few, I think, in the country at the moment that does facials for kids this young. Yeah. It, it, if a kid of like three or four or five has a, a facial, what does that mean exactly? I know what it means for, a, for an adult, but what does it mean for a kid? Beauty-wise, nothing. We, we use very organic products and it does nothing to their skin, but what it does do is give them a feeling of feeling special. It makes them feel pampered. It makes them feel... So is there a face mask? You're not so going to do a, a scrub, I guess, is a face yeah, mask. Yeah, it's a face there. mask. It's a, a chocolate face mask that we put on, so it's very fun. So they eat it's, it? Yeah, but they eat it. It's very fun. It's like having some cream put on your face. Like, of, with all due respect... You will be surprised. A lot of children absolutely love it. You should see the smile. What's the face covered in chocolate? <laughs> exactly. I, I but not chocolate you can eat. Chocolate you can't eat. It's yeah, it's, it's all organic. But so why don't you just eat some chocolate then? Because that, <laughs> that, that's not what they want. They want it on their face and they want to enjoy it because, and the smell. Because and society it's... has told them that it's going to make why them not? look... And we've got to think about why it makes them feel better. Because they're being pampered, they're being... But why? Why does that? Why does that pampering make them feel? Because better? they feel like a princess. It's the fairy tale. So the, the, the whole fairy tale is unrealistic. Fairy tales aren't real. But it's this is the world that we live in. To... This is the society but that we live in. I know, but we're embracing that then. No, but so there's no fairy tale in which a kid goes to a spa in Birmingham and has a facial. There's not actually. I have such a problem yeah. with this whole fairy tale yeah. princess but, idea. But, but I, I think he meant. I don't think. I know what you're getting at. You're mm. talking about making them value beauty too young. Yeah. But and I don't also think that, but they're not dressing up as princesses. No, I don't think that's what he's saying. And, 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 and to be clear, what we, we do not do is um, extended eyelashes and waxing, and we feel that but too that's young. But that's the and... next stage. As a, as a parent of a 13-year-old girl, mm -hmm. uh, she campaigned so hard to have her ears pierced, yeah. which I realise is not the end of the world, but I thought, mm -hmm. I've got to hold out on this. Gave in on her 13th birthday and literally, as the second stud went in, she said, can we talk about a tattoo? Mm -hmm. And basically, once you start... And if you're starting as young as three, the argument might be they want more because they're on social media, they're looking at it, you know, all those things. And I appreciate that. And that, that may and this not is... be a bad thing, but yeah. it, it is the beginning of something very young. And we it? acknowledge that and I appreciate that. And, and this is why we put a lot of onus on, on and speak to our, the parents that bring the children in. And, and parents should know when their children are emotionally ready to have or to go to the next stage. And, and we discuss that with parents and... 
Uh, Marina, would you... Sorry, Charlotte. No, I was going to say, yeah. seen the reaction from people, because there are those who are saying, like, Stephen, why would any parent think their child would need this? It's beyond comprehension. Uh, you know, Rich saying full-on spa and makeup treatments for kids are ridiculous. But there are those who say, like, Sarah, I've got two girls. I don't think there's anything wrong letting young girls treat as long as natural products are used. I right. want my girls <laughs> to know how to take care of them. I well, that's the an interesting point, because I bet yeah. you look after yourself, mm. don't you, Marina? And they're, they're following you, yeah. and Absolutely. they're thinking it's about grooming. Absolutely, and there is... But I do wish I didn't care about how I look quite as much as I do. I think it's such a waste of time. It's so much more important to be a certain way, to behave a certain way, than to look a certain way. But you way. could have both. You could, no, you could be concerned with the, the way you look, about, but then you could also... It's about that importance, and children just are learning from you right from the beginning. So, to be honest, I don't put on makeup in front of my kids. I'll do it when but, they're not looking. I don't put my nails in front of Marina, can I ask a question? Which, which is, if, if you take out the kind of the beauty mm. element, and mm. I can understand why viewers are kind of, that's weird, the kids having a facial. Yeah. But when you hear the reality is they're going with the mum or dad and having some chocolate put on their face, it's, isn't that... When you actually look at the detail, it's isn't about, it okay? You're right, but I think the, the, it's about the messaging. It's about, do you really want to spend half a day watching paint dry? Because that's what having well, a nail shop is. It's about the experience. It's not really about the messaging, or... it's about the experience. I'm we worried have... about it's the cost about as well, yes, to be honest. I think so, not no, so... every family would be able to afford to do that and you're setting up something. You can just yeah. do it at home. You can do it at home, but we are... Snickers on your face. The cynic in me would say that this is a great way of the beauty industry ensnaring children into a cycle of spending money on how but they look. Is it look. the beauty industry? That's my question, I guess. Is it the beauty industry? Is that what it is? Oh, it's beauty okay. industry. It's, okay. it's society. I think mm. as parents, we just need to be aware. You know, yeah. we're living in an age where body dysmorphia, eating disorders, okay. a dissatisf a dissatisf a dissatisfaction with how they but look having time is for so yourself, prevalent. Having time for yourself could alleviate some of those issues. Uh, We've had one... Okay. We've got to go. Right. But you okay. both made some really interesting, mm. smart, insightful points. Um, so thank you thank very you. much. Thank you.